Annyeonghaseyo! Greetings! My name is James Christian B. Aves. Like Chun where still creatures exist. Grade 9 St. Arnold Jensen. I will show you how to solve a quadratic equation with two different solutions. Factoring, quadratic formula. So this is our problem. x squared plus 14x plus 49 equals 0. We must first find the factors of the first and the last term. The first term is x squared. The factors of x squared is only x multiplied by x. While multiplying the two, we produce x squared. x times x. <clears throat> the last term. 49. Since 49 has two factors, we must do trial and error to find its answer. We must multiply x times 49 since they are above each other. These are the two factors. 49 x times x is equal to 1 when multiplying. 49 times 1 is equal to 49 plus 1 times 1 is equal to 1, it will produce 50. And it is not 14 since that is what we are finding. So, we must go to the other one. If we add 7 plus 7, it will be 14. So, it is the answer. Based on the trial and error method, the factors that we've got for x squared is x times x. 449 is 7 times 7. So these are the factors. Next, we will factor out using the ones that we've got from the trial and error method. x, since it is for the first term, and for the last term will be 7 and 7. Since both have positive integers, we'll be using a positive sign or add, addition. Or x plus 7 squared. This is, by the way, square of a binomial. This is a much preferable method for it has only one term. Next, we will transpose to find its roots. x plus 7 equals 0 after x equals negative 7. This sign must be changed into another sign for this is the rule of the transposition. So this is what we've got for the factoring method. Based on the trial and error method, the factors that we've got for x squared is x times x and 7 times 7 for 49. Given the formula x squared plus 14x plus 49 was 0, we must identify A, B, and C. Our A will be the first term, which is 1 for x is equal to 1. Our B is from the second term, which is 14, excluding the variables. Our C is from the third term or last term, which is 49. Let us familiarize first the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is x squared. The quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. 
we must substitute A, B, and C from the formula. We must substitute X equals negative 14 plus minus square root of 14 squared minus 4 a c over 2 a after negative 14 plus minus square root of 14 times 14 3 1 6 one. Minus 14 times 14 is 196 minus 4 times 1 times 49 over 2 times 1. X equals negative 14 plus minus square root of 196. Minus 4 times 1 times 49 is 196 over 2 times 1 is equal to 2. X is equal to negative 14 plus minus square root of 0 over 2. X equals... x equals negative 14 minus 0 over 2. x equals negative 14 plus over 2. x equals Negative 14 divided by 2 is equal to negative 7 since negative 14 has a negative integer. So this is now our answer. Both answers from the quadratic equation and the factoring method matches. To check, we must substitute negative 7 to our problem since negative 7 is the answer from both methods. Our problem was x squared plus 14x plus 49 equals 0. We must substitute negative 7 to all x. So negative 7 squared plus 14 times negative 7 plus 49 equals 0. Negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. Plus 14 times negative 7 is negative 98 plus 49 equals 0. 49 minus 98 is negative 49 plus 49 equals 0. Negative 49 plus 49 is equal to 0 equals 0. So, it's a match. Check. It is really the correct answer. Therefore, I conclude that there are only one root from the problem and it is negative 7. Both methods have different solutions but has the same answer. The answer was proven from substituting negative 7 to all x. After solving, it was also proven that this is the correct answer. The length of a rectangle is 5 cm more than its width, and the area is 50 cm squared. Find the length, width, and the perimeter. Let the width be x. x times x plus 5 equals 50. This is a common monomial factoring form, we must make it into standard form. x 
squared plus 5x plus 50x squared plus 5x minus 50 equals 0. Since this is already the standard form, we must we must apply it into any method. We will use factoring. Again, as stated on our on our previous problem, x squared is equal to x times x, negative 50 is equal to 10 times negative 5. 1 times 10 is equal to 10, while negative 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Since it is a negative integer, we will use negative sign or subtract. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 and 5 matches to the second term of our problem. So, factor out. These are our factors. So, x for the first term and the last term will be 10 and 5. Since 10 is a positive number, so we'll use a plus. Since 5 is a negative number or integer, we'll use subtraction. x plus 10 equals 0. x equals negative 10. The other one is x minus 5 equals 0 and x equals 5. Therefore, negative 10 and 5 are our roots for this problem. Our problem is x squared plus 5x plus 50 equals 0. Check we'll be using 5 and negative 10 for these are the roots for our problem we'll go back to our problem x squared plus 5x minus 50 equals 0 we must substitute 5 first before negative 10 to all x. 5 squared plus 5 times 5 minus 50 equals 0. 5 times 5 is equal to 25 plus 5 times 5 is equal to 25 minus 50 equals 0. 25 plus 25 is 50 copy minus 50 equals 0 zero equals zero then it matches our problem is x squared plus 5 x minus 50 equals zero we must substitute negative 10 to all x negative 10 squared plus 5 neg times negative 10 minus 50 equals zero Negative 10 times negative 10 is 100 plus 5 times negative 10 is negative 50 minus 50 equals 0. 100 minus 50 is 50. Copy negative 50 equals 0. 50 minus 50 is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 0 and it matches. Since both matches, from the checks that we've made, 5 and negative 10, the roots, is the correct answer. I hope you learned something tonight. See you next time!